I'll be showing how to use Power Automate, which is a free tool in Office 365 and it's really good for saving time. Especially if you're an educator, this can really save you valuable time and automate those really boring and repetitive tasks. So I'm here in Office 365. I'm gonna to go to the App Launcher in the upper left and you're gonna see something called Power Automate. If you've never seen this, it's gonna be pretty exciting. Let's drill in. We're here on the Power Automate homepage. Now what this lets me do is create simple workflows so I can automate things like sending email attachments to OneDrive, get push notifications when I get an email from my boss, and lots of other ones. So if I scroll down, you can see there's some top picks. There are some popular services that we'll show. Now to get started, we're gonna do a really simple one. I'm gonna go over here and click on Templates. Now this lets you see all the different template types. These are all the different flows here. There's featured ones you can share with other people, but we're gonna start with one of the most popular ones, which is Save Office 365 Email Attachments to your OneDrive. So let's click on this one right here. So what you see visually is any email that I get in Outlook that has an attachment, we're gonna automatically save that into my OneDrive for business. So I'm signed in as Kara the Educator. This flow will connect to Office 365 Outlook and OneDrive. So let's click Create Flow at the bottom and show how that works. So this explains the flow and the description. I'm the owner right here and you can see the connections are already made. Now we can test this out. I'm gonna send myself an email with an attachment and I'll show how that works in Outlook to automatically save it to my OneDrive. Here I am in Outlook, we'll create a new message. I'll send it to myself and I'll add an attachment. We'll call this flow test. Let's upload an attachment from the hard drive. There is my attachment. Now I'm just gonna click send. There is my new message. Now let's go to OneDrive and see if it automatically saved that geography attachment. Here I am in OneDrive and you can see that there's a new folder, email attachments from Flow. And it put that geography attachment right in there. So any attachment I get in email will now go into this folder. That's just one example. Let's go back to Flow here. Now I'm gonna to go to My Flows and you can see that this is captured in the list of the flows I've created. I can also create my own flows. So I'm gonna go into Connectors this is gonna show me all the different possible flows I can create. The connectors page gives you a sense of all these different options you have. So Outlook connectors, OneDrive, SharePoint connectors, RSS feeds, Twitter. If you scroll down, Teams, Planner, Microsoft Forms. For example, if you go into Teams, there's an entire page dedicated to Teams plus Power Automate. There's a video, there's some example templates where you combine Teams with Planner or Forms when people submit a new response. So lots of options for Teams. I'm not gonna cover all of these today because we don't have time, but just know that there's a lot to do with Teams. We'll go back to Connectors and I'll search for one on YouTube. So here's YouTube, search, and I'll choose this one. So here's a bunch of example flows for YouTube. I could say, share my YouTube video on Twitter automatically. So when I create a new video, tweet it out. Could be when a video is uploaded for a certain channel, then send me an email. So in this case, I can go here. When a YouTube video is uploaded, send me an email. So I'll click continue. And here's a bunch of different channels. I'm gonna choose Flipgrid. So I wanna get an email every time the Flipgrid team posts a new video. Now, here's the YouTube step, and we're gonna say send an email. So who do I wanna send an email to? We'll send an email to myself. There's Kara, and the subject's gonna be YouTube, and then the video list, and then the body will automatically tell me that a new YouTube video has uploaded. And I could change this, so I could change this and say, hey there, a new Flipgrid YouTube video has been uploaded, and that's, all I need to do, then I just hit save. Now let's go back to templates. I'm back here in templates and I'm gonna search for one of my very favorite apps, OneNote. So I'm gonna type in OneNote up top and you can note here sorted by popularity, sorted by name or sorted by publish time. We'll sort by popularity. Let's see if there are any OneNote flows. And it turns out there's a whole bunch of them. Create a quick note for important emails, create a page for an upcoming event, create tasks to review OneNote pages. So it looks like there's a lot of really cool flows that integrate OneNote. Let's do a simple one. Create a quick note for important emails. I'll click that. 
And what it says is, if I get a high priority email, I want to create a OneNote page and give myself a notification. And so in this case, it's going to create a page in Quick Notes if I get a high priority mail. Okay, that sounds good. Let's click Create Flow. So here's the flow it created. It creates a notification and it puts a OneNote page for Quick Notes whenever I get a high priority mail. Now let's say I want to edit this. Maybe the template I want to change. So in this case, I don't actually want a notification, so I'm just going to X this one out and I'll choose Remove. So now it just says, if I get a high priority mail, take that email and send it to OneNote and put it into my Quick Notes. Okay, that sounds good. Let's go back. Now this flow looks like it's ready. Let's review the three flows that we've created today. I'll click here on Flows, and here are my flows. So create a Quick Note in OneNote for important emails. When a YouTube video is uploaded from Flipgrid, let me know via email and send any of my attachments that I receive, put those into my OneDrive for business. Now you get a sense there's a lot of different options you can experiment with and so many ways that you can save yourself time. This is just the basics. I'll do a future video where I get a little more complicated in some of the flows that we'll create. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.